Hi, my YouTuber fans. I'm Sasha Elvira5. I'm just sitting on my porch. It's cold today. That's why I'm wearing pants and a t shirt today. I look good, don't I? I'm dressed for my YouTube studio. Sorry about the noise, folks. I can't do anything about it. I live in the city. That's what happens. You live in the city, there's environmental noise. Let's, uh. I don't wave. Yeah. I always wave when people wave at me. I don't know. I just think that's polite. Um. How many of you wave at your neighbors? Let me know in the comments down below. Or if you don't, it doesn't really matter. But it's polite, I think. Um, let's get back into intro. Today I used a ghost app called Ghost Communicator. And it's a spirit box. And what it does is it allows you to talk to spirits using... Um, radio frequency noise and if it goes to static you're more likely to hear the spirits they kind of echo through them so just put it on a low frequency spirits communicate better then and I found that when I do EVP with my haunted doll and I use a ghost box like ghost communicator that's what it's called um, my doll responds to a low frequency in a ghost communicator and I always turn it to AM on static channel and I find he communicates better. I find the static helps a ghost communicate better. They feel more able to speak then. I don't know what it is. I think the static helps things communicate because of the the sound it makes i think it's the sound that attracts them i don't know um but it's a great ghost app i have it's it's ghost communicator awesome it's um a ghost box for the android phone if you have the google play store it's on the Google Play Store and the Ghost Apps and Ghost Box Apps. It's a free one. It's a freebie, I call it. Uh, let's get back to it. It does allow you to communicate with dead people or ghosts. I would prefer to use the word ghost or spirit. Some people think it's polite to refer to people who passed away as spirits. I think that's a little more polite word. I don't know. Um, if you saw a ghost on a walk, how would you react? Would you freak out? Would you drop your bike and just run indoors and close the door? Or would you go and talk to it? How many of you have ever seen a ghost on a walk? Or went to some haunted location? here in Ontario and saw a ghost walking in the woods. If you've seen a ghost, let me know. I'm very interested in ghosts. There used to be a show I used to watch called Creepy Canada, and it talked about haunted locations here in Ontario. And they all had stories attached to these locations, like real ghost stories. And people have claimed to see ghosts in these places. I mean, it's amazing that you could go to a location here in Ontario and search the uh, haunted hotels in Ontario, Ontario. Even Ottawa has the Youth Jail, which is haunted by a man named Patrick Whalen. And... For those of you who don't know, Patrick Whalen went and shot Thomas Darcy McGee. And he was executed for his crime in the youth jail. 
And if you go and you stay in the youth jail in the cell where Patrick Whalen was hung, you can see his ghost at 12 a.m. in the morning, sitting on the foot of your bed. And you may even get an EVP if you use a ghost box on him. It will work. I'm telling you, he's haunted the cell. He's not really a friendly ghost because he killed someone, so. His name is Patrick Whalen. For those of you who don't know, there was a man named Patrick Whalen who shot Thomas Darcy McGee. And before Thomas Darcy McGee's death, Patrick Whalen stayed at, the, I think, the Fairmont Hotel here in Ottawa. And then went and saw Thomas Darcy McGee and shot him in the back and executed him. And then he got executed himself, Patrick Whalen, in the youth jail in the cell. And people watched him get executed in the cell where they hung him. So yes, uh, Patrick Whalen got hung in the cell in the youth jail. So if you stay in the youth jail, you'll see the ghost of Patrick Whalen. He still roams the halls at night and people have seen his ghost. Now, I don't know if that's true, but it's kind of creepy and it's real. And he's out there, the ghost of Patrick Whalen. How many of you believe in ghosts? Let me know in the comments down below or anywhere. And click on the notification bell, click the subscribe, and click the like. Good day and have a nice day.